Welcome to the session how to create a to-do list in Microsoft Word 2010. What we have to do on the first place is simply to open an empty or blank Word document and start one step by step to design our to-do list. So, as a first step, we have to create our title of the to-do list. So, for this purpose, we have to go to tab Insert and sorry, choose the text box and at the bottom choose the option draw text box and then simply draw a box on the top of the page a text box in, in which we have to type for example to do list with capital letters Mark the text itself, go back to the tab Home and increase the size of the words, the font size actually, and then choose to be centralized. And then go back to the top, in the top of tabs, Option Format tab. As you can see, it's quite ugly in this way, so we simply go back and choose. Edit shape, change shape, and then we choose simply, for example, part of one of the flow charts. Of course, choosing a background color for our to-do list title, and choosing the no outline so that we don't have any kind of borders on top of it, and of course the text itself has a different color so that's not the uh, what we would like to see so we can choose something different let's say hmm, what it can be let's say it's a brownish red so it's darker color and after that once we are ready with the title so as you can see we already filled it out then we simply double click under it and choose sorry let's double click on it and choose the option again going back to the tab insert a table this time the option and we simply instead of drawing it manually so which will basically uh, take uh, quite a long time so we simply choose the possible options what are given us here so we have we need basically six tabs and as you can see the tabs are ready but also this tab looks quite ugly in this way so we can simply come here as you can see once we are ready with once we insert the table the upside under design tab it's appearing table styles so different layouts for our table which basically give us the possibility to create something more fancy so let's say we can choose the blue as we started with the blue and as you can see the title place it's already uh, underlined so marked in different way and what we have to do in the first place is start to type the columns the options in the columns what we would like to see so I would say on the first place I would put priority as I would like to know how urgent is the case itself I would say deadline and what is the task itself it needs to be done by whom is it in progress and in the last place if it is done so as you can see they are not in the center so this basically still a bit design what uh, stops me on this line so I'm marking all the first line 
and going to home tab choosing the option as you can see in paragraph center and going back to design tab again so what we can do uh, now is basically we can start with uh, typing but let's say that this is still quite black dark that's basically not what we would like to see and it's still quite different let's say that we choose the dark blue background with white letters so on the first place I would like to show you as an example how we can basically uh, type priority let's say urgent of course I would like to not type in bold so simply untick under home tab the bold option on the font box so and type priority urgent deadline is let's say 5th of January 2015 electricity bills to be paid it's me who will do the task delete the, the task exactly and I would say that I will put an X sign that it's in progress the problem here is as you can see that all these texts are not centered so what I will do is simply mark all of the box so as you can see and simply choose the center again so all the text basically inside will go to the center so of course this table is quite small we can of course extend it but as you can see the electricity bills to be paid is in one box so this is not what we would like to uh, see in this way so we would like to see it in one line which will basically can happen easily if we just simply mark the text right click on it or choose the option out of it from the list and then simply fix column width and we just simply extend sorry sorry this is not what exactly I mean so um, it's just a second and if we see just out of it to content so basically that will shorter the areas what we have done which is not the uh, not the problem but this is what basically we want so as you can see it's much smaller it's much better as we can see just this goes up as the others and all is in one line so we don't have to extend it we don't have to purpose it and we can follow up on our to-do list easily and once it is done we can simply mark that it is already done and we can simply delete the fact that's in progress I hope this tutorial was useful for you, all of you Thank you for watching the video.